coming with the light. Anderson, where do you want them? Set them up on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. We'll be ready. Back to bed out. <laughs> Must be torn, Odin. Maybe I should check in. Get out! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> the boss is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Roll tree! Tree! What tree? There's no tree in the song! Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? We're not on a road! Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro! Metal to the pedal! Yeah! <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive. Less monsters. Another one of those cult boxes. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. A Tora note in there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Well, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. One, two. One, two. How you feeling tonight? One, two. Cauldron! How wild did we trade on this?
Gonna need Crank more reverb. To I'm getting no bounce out here. <clears throat> Rock and roll. Hey, yeah, they are. I'm here. If you know I'm here. I'm Let's get ready. Anderson, we've set up control center up here overlooking the area. Anderson, I can drop more gear down for you if you're running low. I'll use the lights to hit the taken when they come. Light them up for you. Bad news is we were. In a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. I, I'm not a damn Grandpa, mechanic. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cougar and Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing mind frying act of black magic and sorcery! This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Ah! <laughs> hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> A whole lot of paranatural crimes happening right now. It's fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. The show's drawing a crowd. Take an incoming, Anderson.
roll. Everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? <sighs> so where the fuck is he? I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. Too late? There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. his decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art.
dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. wake back from the dark place with the song and the clicker but he didn't end up here now he landed on the shore after i faced nightingale in the overlap hey are you okay oh, no it's my fault he got out with my face Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. 
They're the same Son person. Bitch. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. Official. Tear Fest is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright.
get to our next gag. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Todd! Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The Shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is, are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It drew Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out with the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. play out. Like a horror movie I've been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, turned me into scratch. I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. This is not what I expected. Return shines a light on it. A spell by I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go, to rewrite the ending of return. Sick story! And I love it! To die for! Shit. Get 
to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. to find another way inside. What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan. Only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. 
that's where the windows were. We we'll loop around and come to Ketertom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is... I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending, the ending has to pick the job. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. My work 
It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Where is everything? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Calm down, Saga. Just think. Something's very fucking wrong here. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. No, I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I never should have trusted these. This case... This room... Is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? This isn't... What?
Why is this happening? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. What the hell? You took me away from Dad. I spent too much time away from Logan. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. That's not... No. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Logan. The horror story used her. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh God. None of this is real. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. My badge. 
Never should have taken this case. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Durand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in, I was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, uh, it really, uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, Mom. Really. Okay, talk soon. I saw, I saw this online, this online and it made me think, me think of you. Think of you. Okay, okay, what are you, what are you doing? doing? Uh, don't make, don't a, make big a big deal out of it, Mom. Mom. No hugs, no, no hugs. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made Casey stay behind. Stop, Stop blaming, blaming yourself, yourself Anderson. Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. Look, <laughs> Devin, leave the whiskey. whiskey. Hey, Mom, I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. No, I'm not reading anymore. What the fuck? I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. She's dead! She's dead! I didn't save her. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. No, no, no! No. This is all real. I know it is. I've lost it. It's okay to be afraid. But... What the fuck? I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt, but nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt, but I will fight. What the fuck? The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. 
Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Saga, wake up. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. 
I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. <clears throat> I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. You let me drown! You pushed me! Enough already! There's the shoebox. The clicker. And some kind of bullet. Shining with light. How did the clicker get here? the clicker would be there. This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. Try to contact him. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real, just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. <sighs> So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but 
I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too.
saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Okay, see? The end. Scratch! Now! light of truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Come on, you motherfucker! Come on! Come on! What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees, and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing with sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with Echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop 
is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. It's not a loop. It's a spiral. <laughs>